Well, guys, uh, got a bunch of stuff here. I know you can't see this, but where we have been reorganizing the shop, it's funny how it seems to be even less organized. Uh, funny stuff how that works. But just as we move everything around, trying to get the other half of the shop where the new lathe is, get it finished, then we're going to start on this. And uh, my paint booth, I'm redoing the paint booth. It's going to be uh, all metal. Uh, let's see here. So I just wanted to, I got a few things in the mail today. And uh, it's a keyway cutter. Let's see if you guys can make heads or tail out of that. There we go. Nice little keyway cutter. Dovetail. Keyway, good lord. I can't even think. Dovetail cutter. All right. See what else we've got. Just all new stuff adding capabilities to the shop. Try not to cut too deep. You never know what's in there. Get carried away with a knife and you can tear some things up in the boxes. There we go. You can see I don't even have all the lights on here. I just ran in here, wanted to uh, real quickly do this unboxing, and uh, I got to go get ready. It's date night tonight. Woohoo! Kids are with the in-laws, and it's time for the wife and I to go out. I think we're going to finally get around to go and see American Sniper. So pretty juiced up about that. Okay, what this is, is dropped. <laughs> it is a package of new, or I mean package of used, sorry, R8 collets. And uh, as we get more into the lathe and the mill and the uses of different collets and stuff, I'll explain these. Uh, that makes three different types of collets that I've got. I've got uh, ER25, ER40, Actually, four. I've got the um, R8 collets, and I've got some uh, 5C collets. Here we've got here. Uh huh. And this is from my friend Bob Pastor over at the uh, Viper's Den. Bob is a very, very accomplished champion Ventress shooter, known throughout the industry. He's shooting royalty, pretty much, but he is the creator and purveyor of Viper's Venom. This is a cutting oil. And he also is the manufacturer of this nice little piece of equipment. I swear, I know some moron's going to say, Why don't you read it out all the time it takes you to open this stuff up? We don't, we don't want to watch all that. Shut up. Shut up. That's what fast forward for. You can skim through there. Trolls. Alright. This is a machining fixture. Very nice. Very, very nice, Bob. Good job on the powder coating, too. Now, give me just a split second, and I'm going to go grab something else that came in and my other version of that. Alright. So, this was the original one that I purchased from Bob. Uh, I had to cut this part down because the lathe that I had at the time was so small, I had to have it like that fit it in my jaws properly. Well, whenever you do that, you end up 
really sacrificing a lot of the rigidity. This is designed to hold barrels, and these screws here allow you to cant and adjust your barrel and get it perfectly centered. Well, I talked to him on the phone. We were talking about the Viper's Venom. I was going to order some way lube, and we were talking about a few things. Uh, he's a good mentor of mine. I'd consider him that. And uh, I asked him about the structural rigidity of the, my old one. I told him what I'd done. And uh, he just, this is the new one, and this new one has this cut out, and this is for machining bolts. This is so you can do uh, bolt faces, and that, allow, that relief cut there allows you to let the handle of the bolt stick out there, and you can jig it up so you can do relief cuts and face bolts and stuff. So, uh, and of course, the nice uh, powder coating and everything. Uh, so anyways, uh, Bob Pastor, thank you very much. You're a good American and a good guy. So, on to the next item that I've got. Make sure Bob didn't throw anything else in. All right. He didn't. This item is something that I'm very, very, very excited about getting in. Stupid plastic or styrofoam on everything. This is my DRO for my lathe and mill. And what this will allow me to do is track everything digitally. Uh, right here are my three axes. Z will be for the mill, and the X and Y will be for the lathe bed, which is actually the bed for the mill also. And most of these that are out there, they have another LED display right here for just different data and stuff like that. This one has an LCD display which means that there's a lot more characters here and they can put a lot more data. With the LED displays you're limited to everyone knows like what an old digital clock looks like. You know how they make the PM on it uh, by illuminating different uh, sections of that. You're limited to the characters you can display but on an LCD you can display all types of stuff. Any, any kind of text you want, characters, whatever. And there's more lines there so this setup does a lot more, and I'll be doing a video on this and the install and the use and setup and everything. So uh, there's that, and of course, this box right here, this tall box, is the scales that go along the bed of the lathe and everything to actually measure where it's at. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's really all I had. I just wanted to do that quick unboxing and uh, say thanks to Bob and uh, show you guys some of the things I got coming up. And uh, have a good one.